There's no denying that as Brits we're a nation of tea lovers, but how we choose to drink it and the methods that we use to make our perfect cuppa differ from person to person. Whether it's tea bags mashed in a mug or loose tea poured from a pot into a traditional china cup and saucer, tea drinking is a very personal and, dare I say it, pleasurable experience. We don't want to perpetuate the myth of builders only drinking a strong, perhaps even a sweet brew, but we do suspect this is more often than not the case. While our, shall we say, more delicate colleagues working indoors may tend to opt for just the perfect shade of tea with no sugar added. Thank you very much. One thing's for sure though, we all like it hot, sometimes even with a biscuit. The perfect combination. Working with mathematics students from the University of Leicester, we have recently sought to find the right formula for the perfect builder's brew so that our guys out on site building new homes know the best way to gain the maximum flavours from their cuppa. When Gelson Holmes approached us about finding an equation for the perfect cup of builder's brew tea, I thought it was just too good an opportunity to miss for, for my students. I could see they'd have to carry out some original research independently, they'd have to use the mathematical skills they've acquired to analyse the relationships between the various factors that go to affect the quality of tea, and then they'd have to present their findings to Gelson Holmes and also to write a report. And these are all skills that employers tell us they value. So for the project we were challenged by Gelson to find a formula for the perfect builder's brew and we were really excited about that because we all love tea. So our initial guidance was for a hot, strong and sweet cup of tea, but we wanted to check that out for ourselves and so we conducted our own market research to find some data. Uh, to find our results, we both did some internet research to find out things like the optimal brewing temperature of tea and the optimal drinking temperature. And then we set up our own survey, which we sent around uh, both to people we knew and also to construction companies particularly using social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, we got lots of retweets from big building companies, some of whom had more than 30,000 followers. And we then narrowed down our results to find out how long to brew the tea for, how much milk to add, how much sugar and anything extra that was important to the perfect cup of tea. The conclusions we drew from our research were that most builders like their tea brewed for about two minutes and then left for about 30 seconds, just long enough so that it didn't burn their mouth. Um, we calculated that it required about 10 millilitres of milk to reach the required colour that most builders preferred and that most of them didn't like any sugar in their tea. We also added an extra variable for a large mug and optional treats such as a biscuit or other snack and um, a good quality tea bag which a lot of builders suggested in the survey that they liked with their tea. Now we know that not everybody likes their tea like this. So let's hear from some others and see how they like theirs. I love my tea first thing in the morning with a drop of milk and two sugars. I like my tea first thing in the morning with two sugars and a drop of milk. The equation for the perfect builder's brew we think is spot on. We like our tea strong and we don't like any sugar like many think we do. Now we know a bit about the findings behind making the perfect brew, we'll not waste any more time. Come on fellas, we've got homes to build. <laughs>